Hi folks, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we are going to discuss conservation agriculture. There is different technology in this conservation agriculture. Number one, wheat summer maize rotation. This is the technology developed with smallholder farmer with the purpose of minimizing the soil disturbance. In another way, you can say minimizing the tillage, whereby farmer grow wheat. After harvesting wheat, they plant maize. Wheat is grown in 10 cm apart, three lines of wheat together, it make one strip of 30 cm, which is interrow spacing of wheat in this model. The next gap is 30 cm. In visual, it seems smaller, but in feed, it's 30 cm, where it is reserved for the maize for next season. In the cropping of maize is 60 cm, which is I did for interrow spacing for maize. The second technology is use of organic fertilizer. And this organic fertilizer is not that other than manure. This is granulated manure. It is different from the back manure. This technology of granulated manure, it helps farmer to apply the manure with the simple tools or with the simple technology like this tractor. The first chamber that we are putting, we are putting organic. Then another chamber that is closed one, there is NPK. We are planting maize and you can see this machine can accommodate four planters. So, thank you to the technology of manure that can help to you apply with the technologies that we have. As we know, the back manure, it's very laborious. You need a very big trailer and also you need very big spreader to do the work. And with this technology, remember, we are targeting to minimize the soil disturbance. So we are not opening too much to allow the back manure. But with this technology of organic manure, it helps to make this work possible. This is the first principle of conservation agriculture, to minimize the soil disturbance or another way you can say to minimize tillage. We are not going to perform deep plowing or deep tillage. We are going to use this planter with four leapers where it opened a small channel and put the seed, put in the organic fertilizer, put in organic fetus at the same time. If you remember from my video of wheat, I, when I was explaining harvesting, how harvesting is done here. Harvesting is done when they, they never take out the crop residue. All crop residue are returned to the soil, which is adding very advantage, big advantage, which take us to the second principle of conservation agriculture with the aim of keeping the soil or covering the soil. What does it mean? We need to cover the soil with inert material. That inert material, we call it mulch. That mulch can be crop residue or it can be another crop. If it's another crop, it is cover crop. For us, we have crop residue. We don't need to transfer one crop residue to an, from one farm to another. Another technology is how this smallholder, they control weeds along the border. So they use herbicide. With this one, motorized knapsack, you kill the weeds in such a way. This comes to another technology. You can see the feed is very dry and we already plant our maize to the gap between where there was weeds and now on that empty gap where we didn't plant, we kept for maize, there is maize, but there is no water. As we know, if there is no enough moisture, the maize will not come out. That's why this supplementary irrigation come out. So the farmer, they use different irrigation method. Most common, they use this borehole. This borehole, they connect with PVC pipe where it cut water, 
from the bohol to the feed. So in this method we call controlled flood irrigation. Farmer they practice this irrigation mostly. By chance, if it rain, this is good. So either with after supplementary or rain, if you are using rain feed, the maize will come out like this. And uh, it brings us to the third principle of conservation agriculture, which is to practice crop diversity. Most of farmers, they practice cereal crops, which is maize, yeed, uh, wheat, rice, but and uh, another one for first season for next the next crop that retort they rotate are uh, regimes like beans mangbe cowpea etc but it's different with this farmer because of the nature of the soil and also the agroecological system they have this area is flat or plain when it rains a little, water accumulates here. So there is not good chance for growing other regime crops because even the process of nitrogen fixation, it, not, it might not work well. That's why this farmer, they keep practicing cereal after cereal. So you realize when after harvesting the wheat, they plant the maize. And we know like, Maize cannot survive in winter, so in winter they plant wheat, and the summer within that short window they plant maize. And this soil or this environment where farm they are practicing since it's spring, the farmer they must find the technology that can make them produce throughout the year. And this farmer they don't have other lands so that's why this land never rest so without that technology of conservation agriculture there will be no yield at all because imagine you have this area or this land and you don't have other land you need to plant the wheat after harvesting right away you need to plant the maize no resting so thanks to this technology of conservation agriculture as you see this technology of conservation agriculture the second one the second principle there are three principles so the second one of covering the soil because when it rains since it's it's a uh, praying or flood or the water accumulates or flooding the water can take the nutrient and fertilizer or surface runoff but thanks to this technology of food, maize wheat rotation where it they you keep the crop residue and this crop residue act like a match and this match keep the water and also nutrients in your feed so you, you see just there is three principles that we discussed. Minimize the soil disturbance. The second one, cover the soil. And the third one, the crop diversity. As you see, these plants keep growing. The crop residue or the remain of wheat straw, they are keeping drying and incorporate to the soil straw. And this adding advantage. For the crop for next season imagine keeping doing this you have you add the organic matter to your soil through the crop residue since you are prohibited to burn the crop residue which is good practice that I can recommend you to practice in your area it's helping this farmer keep producing despite of harsh condition and uh, this technology it help to reduce the cost for 
fertilizer. Since the crop residue, it add the nutrient of the previous crops to the current crop. You see, in another way, this cover crop, I mean this match from the crop residue, it reduces the weed incident. So you can see here, if you compare the conventional, conventional and this one, conservation agriculture, conventional, you will have a lot of weeds. And we know weeds compete nutrients with the main crop, which is maize. If you practice this one, you will have less weed. You can see the feed is almost green. And there is another technology that's from the irrigation. You can see this is the white drip. This white drip is different. You can see it's pressed after four lines of maize, different from the normal drip you are seeing. So you can see here, four lines and then this white drip. And this one, it's work like sprinkler. They have very narrow nozzle. You can see this one. This one is normal drip and it work one row of maize, one drip right. They are both efficient because they pro help us to provide enough moisture when we need it. Especially when they are maize, they are in critical situation that they can cause to yield reduction. By think so, I'm really convinced with this technology because Imagine growing with the same piece of land, the land never rests. You can see with this incidence where it's, you have too much rain, eh? this technology can help to sustain your crops. So this mark end of my video. If you find this video is useful in one way or another, please give it a like, share, and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. See you in another episode. Bye.